Now, moving north to Lebanon amidst a worsening pandemic, economic crisis, and paralyzing corruption, a new government has finally formed, with Najib Mikati, Lebanon's richest man, as the new prime minister. But despite Mikati's promises, analysts are saying that the new government is no more than a band-aid for the problems in the country, especially as this is now Mikati's third term as premier. Joining me with the details is Middle East expert and lecturer with Barilan University, Dr. Mordechai Kedar. Dr. Kedar, it's a pleasure to have you with us. My honor. All right, so first of all, you know, what, what do you make of the new government, actually? And, and, you know, it has all these new members, but many of them are from uh, the same political party. So do you agree that this is just a Band-Aid? Well, I think that Lebanon had, you know, in the last like, 10 years, uh, many governments more than the hair on my head. Means every couple of months they change the government as if the government is the problem. The government is not the problem. The problem is the state because the state is controlled by Hezbollah. When people know in the world that a state is controlled by a terror organization with a stockpile of 150,000 missiles, who with the right mind will invest a penny in such a country? Because this penny will blow up someday when a war will erupt between Israel and, 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 and Lebanon on the, as a messenger of Iran. So. People actually took their money out of this country. This, this is why this country uh, came to the uh, uh, economic abyss. And this is the reason. It's not the government. Well, so, so it's the structure of the country and the fact that the country is controlled totally by Hezbollah. So it's funny that you say that because as we've seen recently with, with recent conflicts, skirmishes along the northern border, and especially now, we're seeing increasing pressure from within Lebanon against Hezbollah. It's becoming more and more acceptable, you could say, to come out of the woodwork and, and openly criticize mm -hmm. Hezbollah. Uh, uh, first... don't, don't, carry the, don't get carried away. Okay. Uh, Hezbollah actually lets people uh, let out steam. Because Hezbollah knows that so people You don't are... think anything's changed, really? That, that, that maybe the public discourse is, is shifting a little bit? Hezbollah doesn't change, cannot change, will not Hezbollah change. Hezbollah not, but the Lebanese public? The public are angry. The public are outraged, and Hezbollah, in order to maintain law and order, lets people speak, as if speaking will change the situation. Oh, it, it, can, is it could lead nothing. to protests, it could lead to... No, no. The only thing which, make, which can bring it a difference to, to what happens between us and Lebanon is, first of all, a war. But I don't expect a war because the Iranians, Iranians need the stockpile of missiles waiting for a day in which Israel might do something against Iran. So a war I don't expect in the forthcoming future, as long as there is no, nothing between Israel and Iran. However, a change could be also when hundreds of thousands of Lebanese will start marching towards Israel in order to ask food, water, nothing, you know, no, with no guns, no weapons, no nothing. They will come, they will raise their shirts in order to show that they don't have any explosive belts, and they will come to the border to ask food. Israel cannot shoot into such a crowd which comes for food. And Israel will have to give them food because Israel is not a country which shoots at people who are coming out of hunger. So in short, do you predict that this crisis is only going to get worse for Lebanon in, yes. in, the, in the near future? Yes, because I don't see any change, any real change. Uh, in the government or in the structure of the state. And I don't see uh, 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 Hezbollah loosens its grip from the country. All right, Moti Kedal, some uh, dangerous predictions for the future in the north. Thank you so much. No problem.